In this video, let us try to find a solution for a problem called unique paths. There are different variations for this problem. Here we are looking at third variation of this. Here is the problem description. You are given with a two-dimensional grid and each cell of this grid can contain either of these four values. One means it is the starting square where you need to start your journey. Two is the ending square where you need to end your journey. 0 means it's an empty cell so in your journey you can just walk over it minus 1 means it is an obstacle so you can't walk over it so the problem expects you to return all the paths starting from 1 and ending at 2 and touching all the zeros so in this example if you count there are 9 zeros and there are two such paths which are starting at 1 and ending at 2 and touching all the 9 zeros and if you take the other example 0 1 2 0 so there are no paths which are touching all the two zeros available in this grid so you need to return 0 let's try to understand the problem statement in detail by taking a look at these examples so here in this first example if we count there are like nine zeros 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 zeros and our starting position is at 0 0 and ending position that is 2 at 2 comma 2 so we need to start from here end here by covering all the zeros so if we observe this closely so we have path like starting at here it goes to here then this then this then this way this way this way and this way and we reached 2 here and if you see we have covered all the 9 zeros so that is like first path then the, there is other path like you can start from here and go here go here then this one so this is another path which is also covering all the zeros so we have two paths which are covering all the nine zeros and there are other paths like this way but this is covering only three zeros it is not covering the other six zeros so that is not counted as a valid path so in total we have only two paths so return two and if you take this example to reach from here to here we have paths like this one and this one there is no other path and both the paths are not covering both the zeros like there are two zeros but any path is not covering all the two zeros so answer is like zero so there are zero paths this is a standard dfs problem which can be solved with the help of backtracking so before starting DFS, we need to find two things here. First is how many zeros my entire grid contains. It is having three zeros. This is needed because we need to find all the paths from one to two, which are covering all those zeros. And the second thing is where to start our DFS branch. Since in the problem statement, we are given that we need to start from a cell which is having value one. So here, this 0 1 cell is having value 1 so we need to start from here and if you observe from any cell from any cell we have four options to move forward either I can go up right down or left so let's start the DFS tree starting from this position 0 1 so it is 0 1 so I'll be having four options I can either go up so if I go up it's going to be minus 1 comma 1 so if I go up from here or right it is going to be 0 comma 2 or down it is going to be 1 comma 1 or left it is going to be 0 comma 0 but minus 1 comma 1 is an invalid index because we are getting negative here and 0 comma 2 so it is having value 0 here so this is a valid thing so we can move further here from here and 1 comma 1 so it is here this is having a value minus 1 so this is invalid branch and 0 comma 0 again this is also having minus 1 value so this is invalid branch then let us move forward from 0 comma 2 so again we'll be having four options here so from 0 comma 2 from here I can go up which is going to be minus 1 comma 2 or right it is going to be 0 comma 3 or down 1 comma 2 or left 0 comma 1 minus 1 2 it is negative so it is invalid 0 comma 3 is going beyond the index so it, again this is also invalid 
1 comma 2 is having a value 0 so we can safely move and 0 comma 1 this is where we came from to 0 2 so we should not visit any node we have already visited so this is again invalid branch so let's again move from 1 comma 2 we'll be having four options here so we are here now we can go up if you go up it's going to be 0 comma 2 or we can go right it's going to be 1 comma 3 or i can go down it's going to be 2 comma 2 or i can go left it's going to be 1 comma 1 so 0 comma 2 this is where i came from so this is invalid because it will be a duplicate node again in my path 1 comma 3 so this is going beyond my index so it, it is invalid 2 comma 2 so this is having value 0 so this is valid 1 comma 1 so this is having value minus 1 so it's an obstacle so i can't move from 2 comma 2 again we'll be having four options so up if i go up here it's going to be 1 comma 2 if i go right it's going to be 2 comma 3 if I go down, it's going to be 3 comma 2. If I go left, it's going to be 2 comma 1. So 1 comma 2, it is, I have already visited this. So it is invalid. 2 comma 3 is going beyond my index, invalid. 3 comma 2, again it's going beyond my index, invalid. 2 comma 1, it is having value 2. So this is where I need to stop my path. And this is the path which we got and if you see we got three zeros in between so this is one zero another zero another zero and what we wanted is our path should contain three zeros so this is this path is covering all the zeros that means my value is one answer is one and there's no other path which is starting at this position and reaching this position so i can just return this value let us find the time complexity for this dfs approach if you look at any node like zero two I am having four options to go down. Out of these four options, one is like invalid. This is because this is the option from which I came from. Like I came from 0, 01 to 0, 02 and I am getting that option again. That means we'll be having only three options here. So if we took if we calculate that, so I'll be having three options here. And for this I'll be having three again. For this I'll be having three. For this I'll be having three. That means nine. It is three power two. Similarly, I'll be having three power three here here 3 power 4 we have to continue till like all the nodes in my entire grid so something like 3 power n where n is my number of cells in the entire grid so tc is going to be 3 power n and space complexity it is the depth of my entire dfs tree which is going to be like number of cells that is n so it is big of n this is big of 3 power n Let's write the program for DFS approach. Let us keep two variables to keep the row and column count. Grid of length, column is equal to grid of zero dot length. Then let's take a variable to hold the number of zeros in my entire grid. And let's hold the starting position as well in variables. Like start row, assume it is minus one start column it is minus one now let us iterate over the entire grid and find the values of this for int i equal to zero i less than rows i plus plus for int j equal zero j less than columns j plus plus if grid of i j is zero then I need to increment my number of zeros counter else if grid of i j is 1 then I can assign that positions to st start row start column so i start column j let us have a variable to hold the total path count so it is atomic integer new atomic integer let's keep initially zero value and finally, I need to return this value. Now, count dot get. And between these two, let me take a matrix to hold the visit of each node. Like as soon as I visit a node, I'll mark that as true so that I don't visit it again. So boolean visit equal to new boolean. Like number of rows and number of columns. 
since I'm starting with my start row start column, so it'll be already visited. So let me mark that as true. Start row start column as true and I have four directions. So let me hold them in a variable new int. So each one. So first is like minus one comma zero one comma zero zero comma one zero comma minus one let me start my dfs traversal starting with my start row and start column in all these directions so for int i equal zero i less than directions dot length i plus plus so dfs i'll have another method so i need to start from like start row plus i need to tra uh, traverse in this one of these directions to directions of i 0 and start column plus directions of i 1 comma i need to pass like how many zeros i have encountered till now so it is initially it is 0 and total number of zeros which i need number of zeros and my count variable to hold the path count and what is my grid and then my visit mode so let me pass all of them then let us write the utility method like private void dfs since i am passing row column first row column then i am sending my uh, current count zeros count like maybe current uh, zeros count and total zeros which i need like target zeros and my atomic integer which is holding my count then i am sending my grid grid and my boolean visit matrix visit and there is a possibility that my row or column indices are going out of bounds so let me check that first if row is less than 0 or row is greater than or equal to grid dot length or column is less than 0 or or column is greater than or equal to the columns count which is 0 dot length or my if I encounter an obstacle I can just stop it there so grid of row or column is minus 1 or if I visit my node already like if I visited my row node already I don't need to go further so in all these cases I can just return I don't need to go further then there is a case that yeah if i have reached my uh, cell having value 2 i can just stop it there so if it is 2 then if it is 2 i need to see whether my target zeros count and current zeros count is same current zeros count is equal to target zeros then i need to increment my counter so count dot set of count dot get order it is plus 1 and I can return in this case also like if I have reached a node having value 2 I can just return then the actual logic for different paths since I have visited I have come to this node I am visiting that so let me mark that first visit row of column equal to true and after doing my processing I have to mark again as false because I need to I can visit the same node in different path so false so in between these two things again i need to take these directions and traverse in all those directions directions so for int i equal to 0 i less than directions dot length i plus plus so i need to call my dfs again dfs row plus directions of my i like first position then column plus directions of i i 1 then i am required to pass zeros count since i am at a zero position node so i need to increment my zeros count and send it so current zeros count plus 1 and target zeros variable as it is and my count atomic integer then grid then visit think uh, this should be it let's try to run the program if there are no compilation issues 
I think it should run and then give the result. Uh, yeah. yeah, it is giving the exact answer as 2. Thank you for watching this video. If this was helpful to you, please do like it. If you like to watch more such videos, subscribe to my channel Layman Coding. If you have any comments, please write them below. Thank you.